Have you ever wondered what took place during the Assumption of Our Lady? What it looked like or even sounded like? No matter how much we attempt to imagine what Our Lady's Assumption into Heaven would have looked like, we will always fall short. To benefit fully from this mystery, we will make a composition of place, according to the method of St. Ignatius, to help us to visualize the incredible events of that day. Howdy everyone and welcome to America Needs Fatima. My name is Adrian Fonseca and before we get going, be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell. It does a lot to help us continue making these kind of videos and it'll also ensure that you never miss out on another story of Mary. And also, comment down below and share your thoughts on today's topic. Because there are no detailed descriptions of the Assumption of Our Lady, we have the liberty to reconstruct the events as we assume or imagine it happened. To do this, we are going to be using a technique developed by St. Ignatius that was referenced in an informal lecture given by Plenio Correa de Oliveira. So we begin, imagining the apostles assembled before Our Lady's body on their knees in prayer. The presence of all the princes of the church made the atmosphere overwhelming, noble, sublime, and recollected. Their countenances mimic those found in the paintings of Fra Angelico. Immediately, we perceive an air of great piety, respect, and veneration from everyone involved. The witnesses to this extraordinary event have immediately fallen to their knees in prayer, giving us the impression that they are all aware that what is happening is a miraculous manifestation. Meanwhile, the angels in heaven were slowly gathering and filling the celestial court. Their faces were like those portrayed by Fra Angelico. Empyrean heaven was filled with the most diverse yet nuanced colors that radiated in such a way as to create a truly incomparable scene. So not only are the mortal witnesses preparing for what is to come, but these celestial beings are also making ready her most blessed journey to heaven. Her soul descended to earth and reunited with her body, revivifying it. She then stood up, body and soul, as the respect and recollection of all those around increased. The physical similarity between her and our Lord as mother and son was more apparent than usual. Also present, our Savior stood transfigured before her and increasingly communicated himself to her. And here is where the truly magnificent part of this encounter begins. Our Lady did not enter heaven with merely her soul. She was brought back to life and entered heaven body and soul like as did her divine son, accompanied by the heavenly celestial court. Some angels, perhaps the most splendid of heaven, approached and began to lift her upwards. As she slowly rose, the skies were marvelously transformed until little by little they returned to their normal state and the witnesses dispersed with a sensation similar to what they had experienced when our Lord ascended. They were filled with reverence and awe. The event had shown them that Our Lady was greater than anything they had dared imagine. However, their admiration was already transfixed by deep longing for their motherly queen, who would no longer be with them. Meanwhile, in heaven, Our Lady's triumph was just beginning. The entire church triumphant received her, especially St. Joseph. Our Lord welcomed her, and the Holy Trinity crowned her as queen of heaven and earth. While this was reward for her extraordinary correspondence, for having become the living tabernacle of our God and Lord, her suffering in his passion and death, and her unfathomable goodness in forming the nascent church. Her work is not yet done. She will forever act as our Heavenly Mother and an intercessor to our Lord, guiding us to Him and through this Valley of Tears. Thank you for watching with me as we learned more about the Assumption. Wouldn't it be wonderful if everyone could know how much the Mother of God loves them and wants to help them live a good life. Well, you can help us make that happen by making a public display of your faith by holding a rosary prayer vigil on Saturday, October 15th at 12 noon your local time. Click the link below and we will send you everything you need free of charge to hold your own rosary rally in your hometown. What a powerful way to show and share Our Lady's love with your neighbors and to give witness to our faith. Go to americaneedsfatima.org forward slash October Rally Captain sign up. 
As we continue to learn more and more about Mary these past few weeks, I think that this story about Our Lady of the Good Encounter will be a valuable addition to these discussions. The lessons we can learn from these incredible stories are truly an invaluable source of inspiration and hope that can be applied to our day-to-day -day lives. And join me next week to learn more. Thank you for watching, everyone, and may God bless you and Mary Immaculate keep you under her mantle. God love you. Thanks for watching. To save souls, there needs to be more Fatima focused content on YouTube. If you agree and you want to help me make more videos, please join our special Child of Mary group. As a child of Mary, you'll get a beautiful Fatima pin, plus inspiring reports on America Needs Fatima work to save souls. Click the link in the description below to learn more and become a child of Mary. God love you.